So when we're building websites, one of the things that we want to deal with is this little guy right there. It's called the fav icon, F-A-V-I-C-O-N. And um, one of the cool things that is that Photoshop can do that really well for us. Now, of course, you can use Illustrator or any other tool that you like. But there's something new in Photoshop CC that I really wanted to share with you um, so I can actually show it to you. So I'm going to come over and I'm going to create a new document. And you can see I've already kind of done this before. So I want to make it 64 by 64. Now, why am I doing 64 by 64? Um, well, the reason I'm doing, and I want to make my background transparent, I'm going to click OK, and bang, I've created my new document. The reason why I'm doing 64 by 64 is that I need to be in multiples or divisions of that number. So if I'm on a regular display, that fav icon is 16 pixels by 16 pixels. If I get to a retina, it's 32 by 32. So I need both of those sizes. So the first thing I want to do is bring in an image that I want to use to create my um, icon. So I, I can search my files or I can use my one of my favorite plugins, which is um, Flat Icon. And I can come in and I can let's say pencil I want to see a pencil so I'm gonna click pencil and it's gonna give me a bunch of different pencils that I can use and I can scroll through and find one that I like see if there's one that I particularly ah, that one's kinda of fun so I'm gonna come over and, and put that pencil in there and there we go that pencils in there um, so it's really big so I need to transform it down a little bit so I'm gonna just transform it down and drag it whoops no, I'm going to drag it, not my, not my registration point or my proxy point, depending on who you are. And I'm just going to put it in place, and there we go. Nice. Uh, I'm going to create another new layer. I'm going to enter that. I'm going to hit another new layer and put that behind it. And then on my new layer, I'm going to select all, and then I'm going to fill it with a color. Now, I happen to like this light blue. So I'm going to hit Option Delete. If I liked that lighter gunmetal gray, I could hit Command Delete, but I like the other one. So I'm going to do it in that uh, color, and that looks good. I'm going to deselect to deselect my layer. I'm actually going to actually come back whoops, back to my layer there and kind of, oops, I keep doing it. I'm going to make sure I'm on that layer, and I'm just going to move that guy around a little bit. I'm not happy with, there you go, that's a, that's a little better. And now I've got my icon. Well, in the past, if we wanted to put this icon out, we could then come up and go file save for the web and go through all the processes that we need there. But we're not going to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over here and hit cancel and close that out. I'm going to close that out. What I wanted to show you is something new in Photoshop CC. If you're not familiar with it, you should get there. The first thing I want to do is save my image. So I'm going to save it as pencil icon PSD and I'm going to click save and save it in the same folder. I've been saving everything. Click OK. Done. Now what I want to do is I want to come up to file, generate and make sure image assets are selected. Then what I want to do is come over to my layers panel. I'm going to move that over so you can see it. I'm going to come down and I want to merge down. It needs to be a single layer because what's going to happen is Photoshop is going to actually generate images on the fly for me um, while I'm building it. And let me show you what I mean. I'm going to move this down a little bit and bring this in. This is that folder where that file is right there. So watch what happens when I come in here. I'm going to double click on the name. And because I went up to File Generate and turned on Photoshop Generator, I'm going to come in and I'm going to type Pencil64.png. Then I'm going to hit a comma. And then I'm going to type 50% Pencil Icon 32.png. And then I'm going to hit another comma and a space. And I'm going to hit a pencil 16 dot PNG. But oops, I forgot to make my space up here. So I'm just going to go back and I'm going to type 25% with a space. And then I'm going to just click. 
and notice what happened it happened without my doing anything it created a folder with a pencil icon by the name and assets and you can see it's created me a pencil 16 a pencil 64 and a pencil 32 ping for me without me doing anything very very cool and remember let's just go up to uh, in Photoshop I'm gonna be in Photoshop generate and make sure the image assets is selected then all I have to do is come over to my home page come up to the uh, um, site properties or in this case I can come up to the page properties and in the page properties I can just simply replace that image with my new image I'm going to use the 64 even though I should use the 32 um, and what's going to happen is you can see that Muse has resized it. I'm going to click OK. And then now, if I preview my page in browser, if all goes well, it takes a second, but there's my fave icon as my pencil, and bang, I'm done. Really powerful when you want to take uh, images and uh, generate them for the web. Use Photoshop Generator, a great tool.